Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we're going to take a look at this Tech EZA uh, Super Saiyan 4 Broly. I'm actually pretty excited about this guy. I think he is actually looking pretty good after his EZA. I think the thing that's most disappointing is kind of how weak the kit is of his counterpart, the new Int Limit Breaker Broly, who we're also going to look at in this video, but a bit to a lesser extent because I don't have him built out nearly as much. So... We are going to call this a dual showcase on both of the Broly's, but we're really going to focus on the tech one because I've got him fully maxed out and I think it's going to be looking pretty good. And his stats, I mean, these EZA units, look at their stats. These are like LR stats. So this is really nice, especially for HP. I know Truth points this out a lot, but HP is a big issue for heroes because you don't have LRs and the LRs are where you get a lot of HP from. Well, I think as we build up more powerful EZAs, like the HP will become less of an issue. Um, so let's take a look at Broly here. He, this is definitely a build-up character, by the way, and he's not going to be good in slot one. We're just going to say that right now. Um, but as he builds up, he actually looks really good. So he greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, does immense damage and greatly lowers defense. And then his passive is attack and defense 150 while performing a super. So see no start of turn stats there, right? It's all on super. Key two launches an additional has a high chance of becoming a super as long as you have another grade eight power category ally in the same turn which we will always have, launches a guaranteed additional super if all allies are grade 8 power, and we're going to have that some of the time, um, and then an additional attack and defense 30% with each super attack performed up to 150. So he's going to be building up, um, and he's got to do, what, five supers to fully build up, and it has to be super attacks, okay? Um, so we're going to take a look. His kit's very simple, but I think it'll be effective. I kind of did a mix of additional and crit, you know, realistically, you probably would want to put, put dodge on him, but I did a very offensive build, but max links there, right? Now, let's look uh, Let's look at this guy here. Um, this is one of these units that on release, it's like, all right, can't wait for his EZA. <laughs> That's not a good sign because uh, he doesn't seem very good on paper to me. Now, mine here is going to be 69% and I haven't link loved him yet. So we're we're going to give him that, you know, in the video that we, we know he can look a lot better with more stats, but let's look at the base kit here, right? He stacks defense for four turns, which is good. And I think that's the thing that's going to kind of save him a little bit is that he has that. But if we look at his kit, I mean, it's key three and 200% stats at the start. And then another 100% attack and defense while attacking. And that's it for stats. Like there's no other stats. It's literally this guy's got like 300% stats. Now, the when attacking, I think will calculate differently. But he's literally just like raw stats right there and has like really no other defensive tech in his kit other than he's stacking for those four turns so the way you build this guy is you really just go all in on additionals and hope to god you can stack a lot of defense or because he's an int unit you go all in dodge and just have him dodge but because he's meant to be an offensive character and he is building on super i would just go full in on additionals and then pump leftover stuff into dodge probably right um he, so then what happens is he launches an additional has a high chance of being a super launches an additional super when facing two or more enemies so against two enemies he's going to get a guaranteed super and then he launches another additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super if there's a fused fighters enemy which i guess is relevant for like the the zamasu fights so like if you're doing you know a zamasu fight or a fused fighter fight that has two enemies sure he could do what five attacks in a turn but you're very rarely if ever going to see that exact situation so they just gave him all these conditional like get extra additional attacks I, I i mean it would be better if he was infinitely stacking but for four turns sure you like if he quad supered like his defense is probably going to get kind of crazy but i don't know we'll see <laughs> we'll see we'll see so on this particular turn tech broly um, does not get the guaranteed additional super, but he will get one that has a high chance of being a super because if we're full grade eight power, he'll get a guaranteed additional super. Uh, but since we have pan there, but he gets so much stats on super, having the extra support is worth it. Like pan's going to put in some work uh, to give this guy some more damage, right? Broly's defense, 147K. It's actually pretty abysmal starter turn defense, but he gets so much on super and he's building up. He's got to do five supers. So he's just opening up at like a 10 mil attack stat. And we're going to see it drastically go up. Yeah, and then 11. Yeah, dude, this guy's just going to be a powerhouse. Yeah, he only got a chance to attack twice and just obliterated that phase. So we're going to just watch him. He still has three more supers to build up. Um, This turn here, I'm just going to leave these Vegitos, I think, smashed together, I think, is what we're going to do. 
Um, no reason to really do their active skill here. So we will just do this. Uh, we'll do that. And we'll let Toa try to grab some healing here. I feel pretty good about Toa even. Toa can get some nice stats. And yeah, Toa with a nice little heal there. All right, and then um, I already did my showcase on these Vegitos. You already knew that that had to be the first one I did because these Vegitos are just so crazy impressive good. Um, so I'm really not worried about him. And once again, I am copying truth here a little bit because this is a nice showcase stage. I do like it. Uh, we can literally just sit here as long as we want. The enemies put up decent attack stats. Uh, so we can kind of test our units defensive and offensively. And it's just a nice middle ground where we're not going to get instantly one shot. So I like it. And because the Masu can be stunned, we can show off stunning units as well. So yeah, double digits there. And then 2.6 mil from Toa. All right, and then Toa, can she dodge it? Yes, she can. Toa can dodge. And remember, she gets buffs on dodge. She starts to look really nice when she dodges out a bit. All right, so what do we do here? Okay, well... Sure, we'll let the friend Broly chill in slot one. Um, dude, that just, you know, 286 defense, I guess, is solid. Remember, he's not rainbowed. He's level one Lynx. Um, I think I'm just going to put him there and see what happens. Gosh, do I need to use an item? Will he get me killed? I mean, if he gets double supered, we actually are going to die. I know it's crazy, but I want to use a Whis. I want to get these units a chance to build up. Tech Broly is going to be getting crazy here. Um, and we've got support. Yeah, this is going to be a really nice turn. And there's seven out of seven links, by the way. All right, so this guy, five mil, right? Which is okay. Uh, but once again, we want him to build up. I want to see this guy next turn. So we got two supers. Can we get a third super? Because I want to see how impactful his defense stacking is. Yeah, triple super. And dude, this is only a 69% Broly, but we do have two or more enemies, so we are getting the guaranteed additional super. Okay, so this turn, he is trying to look pretty good for me, right? Quad supered with the defense stack. So we're going to see next turn what his defense is looking like. That was actually a pretty good turn. And then, all right, we're starting on 11. This is super attack number three. Here comes number four at 13 million. Oh, dude, this tech Broly is awesome. This tech Broly is awesome. And there's number five at 16 million. What a beast. And his defense now is looking really nice and juicy. And then at 18, oh my goodness. These Brolies just went off the wall. Um, I will say this. They definitely uh, stuck to the you know character that Broly is. Um, just being offensive powerhouse, dude. He did quad super and was ending at 18 mil attack stats. So now that he's built up, he should just be sitting there, right? Like 18 mil. Uh, let's go ahead and see here. So the Vegito's here. We're just going to let them attack through. Well, let's keep them smashed together. Uh, I'm not really worried about taking any damage here. Let's see what happens. Yep, healing up. 7 mil for this Vegito. Yeah, I'm excited to just dive in. I've barely even been able to touch the content. Like, I've been kind of just, like, grinding the, the metals to get these characters awakened and then just kind of jumped in the video. So I haven't really tackled, like, the burst mode, the new uh, red zone, like, none of that yet. So I'm just going to try to have some fun casually over the weekend with that as I get time. All right, and then Pan, we're going to hope that Pan dodges. That's what she's there to do. Oh, we got the stun. Nice. We'll take the stun. It's less damage I have to worry about taking. Double stun there. Yeah, Pan still took from normals there. That's not good. We just need her to dodge. All right, so now in this turn here. Um, okay, so now the Imp Broly at 372. I mean, that actually, I'm going to say this. For getting a quad super, that actually doesn't seem that impressive, right? Because he's 372. Once again, obviously, he'd be well over 400k, I think, at Rainbow Max Links. But, dude, 372. I guess he is getting another 100% when attacking. So, here's the thing. I'm not sure how he calculates, right? So, if it's literally that 372 and I double that when I attack, we're actually talking. He's like 700k defense. So, maybe he is okay because we do get that 100% when attacking. I just don't know how it calculates. So, let's see here. We'll let him go in slot one. 
Um, he's just, yeah, kind of odd, huh? Maybe he's a unit that's secretly better than what we're thinking. Uh, I mean, he's going to eat a super here, and this is going to do damage. Yeah, 500k, that was not little damage either. And then 4.8 is a tax that isn't jumping off the page either. And then now if he doesn't get the supers, it's painful. This is guaranteed here at 4.8. Yeah, I'm feeling a little underwhelmed by this Broly, man. I think they missed the mark with him. He just needed a bit more for sure. Which is a shame because I want him to be like that perfect running mate for this tech Broly. The nice thing though is this tech Broly, he still links really well with like Limit Breaker Vegito and Physical Vegito. So like we can just toss him on the team and we don't need the full power Broly. We can just run this guy on the team as a staple. I think he's going to look really nice. I think if we run the double Vegito leads, right? And I think one rotation is maybe Vegito with Physical Vegito and then Vegito with this Broly. I actually could be down with that setup. Um, Cause that tech Broly man was hitting some big fat numbers. Um, all right, let's go ahead. Uh, sure, we'll just for funsies, we'll double active skill this Goku Black and see if we can kill him this turn. And if not, we can maybe get to another turn with Broly. We'll see what happens here. Um, our health is pretty weak. We ate some big time damage. Um, we'll just play a risky game here. We'll just do no items and see if we can survive all. Let's see what happens. Get a little bit of healing. Yeah. All right, let's see. And if we die, we die. Well, this is probably going to be the last turn either way. But we'll let these Vegitos have a little bit fun attack Goku Black. If he lives, we'll, we'll take another Broly turn. We'll see. The thing with this Vegito, I mean, when properly set up, you saw in my showcase, he's like... <laughs> like well over 10 mil attack stats consistently. Alright, are we just dead here? Or does he tank out? Because I don't know if his 60% is up. Oh, it is. Okay, yeah. He tanked that actually really well. And then, yeah, 13 and a half mil here. Now that we actually got some links going. Yeah, Vegito's great. Yeah, we're we're done. We're, we're out of here. So, anyways, guys, let me know what you think of these Brolies. But, yeah, definitely, man. Tech Broly looking great. Uh, Int Broly's looking a little sus to me. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you all on the next one.